Hi everybody, thanks for joining me again. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to clean silver, hopefully. Um, I don't, uh, I've never done this before, so uh, I did some research because I have some dirty coins here um, that I need to clean, or some tarnished coins, let's say. Uh, so here's what you need. You need a glass bowl, a piece of aluminum foil. You gotta have foil, apparently that's key to the reaction, it's a chemical reaction that's gonna take place. Uh, baking soda, sea salt, or salt, any kind of salt, a uh, dash of that, not too much, and some jumbo roasted cashews. Uh, okay, so, and some boiling water. So, here's what we're doing. We're going to take some boiling water and pour it into the bowl with the foil. Okay. Now, you can either add sea salt to this. Um, or you can actually boil the water with the salt in it, which is what I did, because if any of the salt's undissolved and sits on the silver, you can get spots on your silver. So this water is actually already salt water dissolved in there, so we can put that away. Okay, now to this, I'm going to add some baking soda. Okay. Okay. Out of my silver coins here, I'm actually going to take the seven darkest ones in here. And I'm going to clean those and we're going to compare them to the other ones. So it's a fair comparison. I'm going to stack the deck. See some bubbling. The silver has to be touching the aluminum foil for the reaction to take place. It actually attracts whatever that chemical that creates tarnish to stick to the foil rather than the silver. Really kind of neat. I'll let them sit and we'll be back in just a minute. Okay, they're starting to brighten up a little bit. Let's, let's try a little more baking soda. Okay, so here you can see the after effect. Uh, these are the ones I just cleaned. These are 90% junk silver, if you're wondering. These aren't just normal dimes. These are older dimes. Um, so here's the ones I just cleaned. They're all looking pretty shiny. I actually couldn't tell them changing much when they were in the solution, but uh, once I take the, took them out and wiped them off, they, they shined up really well. Uh, and th this was the cleaner group. Remember, these were the most dirty. So you can see the difference. Uh, it, it did work. So that's pretty cool. So now I'm going to do the rest of them. I got this Walking Liberty half. I don't even, I don't know if that's uh, tarnish or something else, but we're going to see if this same cleaning method works for it too. Oh yeah, and you might be wondering, well, what are the cashews for? In case you get the munchies while you're working, of course. Love cashews. This time I put the coins in first. I'm just going to try it a little different. I'm putting baking soda on top of them. And then I'm going to pour the boiling water in. So here goes. See him bubbling away there. My camera would focus. Okay. I don't know about that walking half. We'll see. That doesn't look like normal tarnish. That might be a different kind of dirt. I might need a stronger cleaner for that, but we'll see here. Let's do a little more baking soda. You gotta have boiling water. The heat's the heat uh, is a catalyst for the reaction. And here you can see they're all done. Um, even the Walking Liberty half, uh, surprisingly, it, it came pretty clean too. Um, I didn't think that stuff was ever going to come off. I let this one soak a little longer, so did really well. You can see they all, they all match, they're all bright and shiny, so say it was a, a success. These are only 90% silver too. The reaction is with silver, so um, the other 10% is copper. So I'm willing to bet that 
straight bullion 100 percent or 99.99 would um, would fare better with this uh, one point to note i am using plastic tip tongs to put the coins in and out um, feel free to use metal tongs if you like uh, if you don't mind scratches on your coins i do so i'm going with the plastic all right well thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time